YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are back with another weekly challenge. We haven't missed a single weekend. This one is called Missed Delivery. We didn't receive our full equipment delivery this week, so you won't have everything you might need. And you have to correctly find the ghost type on Brownstone High School. So a big map with very few items. That's gonna be a tough one, and I hope you join me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's Let's go. Alrighty. Lori Rook. A uh, little more than just starter items. That's nice. Uh, so we also have a thermo. Wait, actually? We almost have everything. We just have very limited of everything. I see. So you still have a flashlight. No no uh, weak flashlight challenge. You still have a smudge stick too. Just a single smudge stick though. A single sanity pill. Okay, so I see what they're going for. They're going for a one of each kind of challenge. Interesting. Okay. And I'm glad they still gave us the paramic. That's amazing because the paramic on this. Only one photo cam. What the heck? Okay. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know if we have any cursed possessions. Uh, let's head in. Uh, this should be interesting. I love the paramic. Highly recommend using the paramic on the big maps. I'm telling you, it is the way to get the ghost. Mostly because of the way the paramic. I don't know. There's some weird thing with the paramic that makes it able to detect ghosts even when they don't do anything, when they're not doing any audio. Okay, so it seems like we have tarot cards. I don't know if that's part of the challenge or if there's just a random cursed item. I'll take a photo of that, though. I don't think it would help as much to just randomly start using one of those okay so the breaker starts off uh i mean that's the thing so the thing with Brownstone high school it's gonna be the main part you need to learn if you haven't played much on this uh is how to find the ghost room now there is obviously many rooms that have a phone in this map so if you hear a phone ring i'm very lucky found a breaker quickly then go to that side of the map that you hear the phone on and then try and figure out the ghost from there and you can also use the paramic which isn't a surefire way to get it um because the ghost still has to do something that you can pick up um but it's gonna help you because some of the sounds that are on the map will stick around for a while um after they happen um What the fuck? <laughs> Genuinely terrifying. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I almost choked on my own breath. That's how, uh, <laughs> how spooked that was. Excuse me, how are you down this hallway? What the hell? Um, I'm a, lo I'm a low off beat right now. I, I, I wasn't ready for that at all. Okay, so I'm guessing the ghost uh, is around here because I'm getting a permanent... 0 0.8 that's what you're looking for you see this this reading doesn't go away when i pointed at this room that's what i'm talking about uh i'm taking a photo of this when i'm talking like this is why the paramic is so strong because you see the ghost did something here a while ago and now there's still a 0 0.8 here that just isn't going away like i know i'm really lucky with this ghost room but the the principle still applies uh the, the 0 0.8 nothing is happening right now and it still stays so that's what you're looking for you're kind of scanning around until you get a reading and then you're like oh where was that reading let me scan until i pick up the reading again and then scan until the reading disappears again and then you can see okay so the ghost is in between there now it will not stay forever as you can see it's now gone uh but it's stuck around for quite a long time so that's a really important thing especially this weekly challenge uh, so glad they still gave us a pair of mic um because that could have been that could have been tough uh now i gotta just bring in everything we only have one of each i didn't lo even look at my sanity if we have um decent sanity i'm assuming we do otherwise i would have already been dead uh oh yeah we just have 100 sanity also that is looking like ema 5 right there i know i've said this before but if you see a four or five spike without a ghost event that usually means you're dealing with an emf ghost now i'm assuming we're gonna get all the evidence here you don't necessarily you can't just bring in an emf but especially on big maps it can be a big help to get emf 5 through the board so you don't have because you're going to be walking back and forth with uh with your items i'm gonna grab this and i am going to grab uh a writing or uh, let's just go for all the simple evidence like maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just get a super simple ghost because uh, we got to do this three times remember uh three ghost hunts on high school which i don't usually go to high school so it's nice to have an excuse to go there uh for a big 30 level and three thousand dollar payout Luckily, I'm hoping at least that this weekly isn't broken. I I didn't actually really 
I don't know when they exactly fixed the last weekly, but it was it was completely broken. Uh, let's see if the fingerprints are still there. There's only a light switch here, which also means it's not a mirror, but we already knew that if it is EMF5. Um, I'm assuming this weekly is fine, because it seems to be fine. Still don't know exactly what happened last time. Also, the Easter channel or Easter thing, I think, is still today. It's it's. Let me quickly check when when does it run out. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get killed during this. I'm just checking the Discord, the Fast Mode Discord, real quick. Uh, the challenge is until um, Discord announcement. It's probably gonna be in game announcements, or is it already over? I mean, Easter is over. Uh, it is until to twelfth, until the twelfth BSD. So if you're watching this on the day of release, make sure to do the Easter egg hunt if you haven't already. Of course, it's still in the game. I saw it on the screen. <laughs> I should have known it. Yeah, make sure you do it. Okay, there's uh, something happening. Um, where are you? I don't have a flashlight anymore. Where did it go? There it is. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you grandma? Now it might be, I don't know, might not be. No. Oh, never mind. I was like, I'm getting so few evidence. I'm starting to think it's not all, not all the evidence is present here. Seems like there's no ghost orb. Seems like there's no freezing temps or spirit or rain. We even had salt, right? I think so. We could just bring salt in here. So we're looking for writing or dots in this scenario. So we can bring in salt, writing, and dots. Um, I'm so lucky with this ghost room, by the way. I'm uh, definitely not going to be this lucky every time because we're going to do three rounds. This might be a really long video and you're going to be like, wait, how could this be such a long video if this first run went so fast? Because one of these runs is going to be a terrible disaster. Or not. Or I'm the luckiest person to ever do it. Who knows? Um, special ghost hunting salt, of course. Not for consumption. Only for ghosts. Ghost consumption. Actually, oh. Interesting. Is it a ghost event? I guess I just turn off the light. I mean, it can't really be fingerprints, but I'm just checking. No fingerprints. I just assuming there's there's all the evidence. I'm going to rule that out. And then we're going to place two salt right here so it can't go through the door. And then one I'm just going to place in the middle. Because that's the thing. With... Ghosts can roam. I don't know if they roam in, in this weekly. The weeklies have have been very low in terms of roaming. Like, the roaming hasn't been uh, too annoying during all the weekly challenges. Because roaming is one of those things that's actually... Oh. You did not walk through the salt, but you did do a ghost event. That was a normal walkie ghost event. Uh, it's pretty risky now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the, um, the smudge stick. The single smudge stick that we have given... Um, I'm gonna take that. Because, uh, if I get hunted here, there's a huge chance that I just perish immediately. That looks like another EMF 5. Um, we don't have the salt objective. That's always nice. You can just look at it from afar. Okay, so we have basically every... I'm not gonna bring in the rest. You even have one sound sensor. <laughs> so used. I know they're gonna do some challenges where they're gonna have sound sensors as your main way to find the ghost or something like that. Should be interesting. I wonder, you know what I would love to see? I mean, I guess they've done it. They've done a zero evidence, right? But during the zero evidence, we still had the evidence items. They could do a challenge where we don't even have the evidence items, like a full, per like a full actual zero evidence challenge where they don't even give you the evidence items. Because if you play by yourself, you can't ever take out the starter items but they could because they are doing like special setups so that would be interesting if they actually just no item challenge imagine uh that would be just like unbeatable in very many scenarios i think it must be a wraith by the way the fact that it didn't step in the salt after that ghost event i know it didn't baited it over the salt but can you give us a sign hello there ghost hello anyone here Oh, there you go. We have all the evidence. That's also good to know. And it is, in fact, a wraith. Because usually... Um, I'm just going to smudge it so I can walk to the door safely. Usually when you get um, a ghost event, even if you are, like, standing on the salt and it touches you, it will usually walk through you a little bit after disappearing and touch the salt, at least from my experience. Well, that was a really easy first run. Not even 10 minutes. Um, probably not all going to be this way. What's interesting with this setup is that you can't have multiples of things, so that if you're playing in multiplayer, you're gonna have to, like, share the tools, I guess. Um... <clears throat>
Should be a wraith. And, no, I got all the evidence, of course. 100%. Oh, well, I didn't get the EMF for sure, but it was still a wraith. There you go. Uh, only 155 experience and 155 bucks, uh, which with two uh, daily objectives, that's because obviously we're playing on low difficulty. The main payout for the weekly is because of the when you complete the the three games. So now we've done one game. Let's head into the second one. Let's do it. Alrighty. We got Emma Watson. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to start with the same thing. I'm telling you, this is the 100% certain setup. Like anything else, what would you even... Do you use anything besides the Paramic on a big map? Because uh, when I play like public lobbies, I rarely see people grab the Paramic on a big map. Um... Which I don't understand why, because it's like the, really the only thing that allows you to accurately find the ghost on a big map. EMF is... Okay, so it is a random curse possession, I see. Uh, EMF is useless. Spirit box is completely useless. The orbs is almost always useless. Um, so I, I guess you could grab an item that can help you to figure out the ghost once you found it. And just rely on other people to find it. I guess. Breaker's not on this side this time. I just don't know why uh, it's seemingly so rare. At least from my experience, I rarely see anyone grab it. Let me know if you do. Even on small maps, the Paramai can be alright. If, if someone else grabs your favorite item and you're like, now what do I pick up? I have no item. I like, I, my favorite items are gone. Pick up the Paramai sometimes. That, that lingering reading is something that was... I mean, it's been in the game for quite a while now. But it wasn't the game. Then it got fixed, then it got brought back, and I've told the developers about this many times, like asking, is this a bug, is this intended, and they have never gotten rid of it. So I'm assuming it's intended, even though it feels like a bug, but it might just be like a hidden buff for the Paramic, because the Paramic without this thing, like if they, if you're watching this in the future when they have fixed this this thing or uh, this bug or they've changed it then the paramic is completely useless the paramic is only useful because of the lingering reading that's the only reason yeah if they ever get rid of that then discard all this uh this praise of the paramic and throw it right back into the trash where it belongs but right now it's pretty solid also it has a nice timer on it you haven't heard a single thing i'm just scanning around there's a few rooms that the ghost can be in if you haven't heard anything. Oh, 0 0.3. I don't know. I think the high readings have to be above 0 0.5 for them to mean anything. What about a 0 0.5 reading, though? <laughs> I think 0 0.5 can be a footstep. No, no, I'm not entirely sure. That's me, obviously. That's extremely creepy. What the fuck, dude? We have gotten some cool ghosts. Two interactions. I'm taking a third one for the fingerprints check. No fingerprints. Genuinely spooked me. The ghost is over there as well. Was that freezing in here? I don't know. Hello there, ghost. Uh, I think... I think it is just freezing. I think so. It was very faint for like a split second. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Maybe it's even in this side room. Oh. Not an Oni. Okay. We're getting into some trouble. We we can take the single sanity pill. Now, because uh, high school, the distances are so big, I do recommend that if you can to drop your... Um, to drop your items, including your flashlight, so you can carry three items back. I mean, if you're playing it sing or multiplayer, then I guess that's not really uh, important because there's only so few items to take this time. But if you're playing single player, dropping your flashlight means you can carry an additional item. Instead of two extra items, you can take three, so you get like a 50% uh, inventory upgrade just from dropping that one item. Um... All right, so what is, what is now the most important? So it didn't drop our sanity by much, so also not an Oni. Um, I'm going to take your box, this, and I kind of want to see if it's in that room, but because I'm just going to take the, the writing book. Because I already took a spare box, yes. 
pretty far away room. Not the furthest. There have been worse rooms. I, I gotta say I'm pretty... I, like, the ghost just immediately doing stuff when I got close to it obviously was pretty lucky. <laughs> but I didn't get... I was gonna stick around there for a little longer because I got that 0 0.5, which I think 0 0.5 is a footstep. Just gotta rely on the paramic. No, the paramic can't... I think I just heard it to turn off a light. The paramic can bamboozle you or, or turn on a light. Was that in here somewhere? No. Um... Can't give you fake readings, so only look at stuff that's 0 0.5 or higher. Because if you look at the tiniest readings, it'll just bait you into going into the wrong room. Now, is in which of these rooms is it? Ah, it, uh, it's freezing in here. I see so. Uh, uh, freezing and orbs. Okay, that could be problematic. Touching a door again. It can't be. It can't be Obake, so we're not having to worry about that. Can you give us a sign? Can you write in the book? Where are you? Can it even be this? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you grandma? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? Doesn't seem like spirit box unless it's really baiting me. But now we're looking at writing or dots in this case. It's touching a door over there. Maybe it's not actually here. Oh. Bringing a phone in there as well. Seems to be a pretty... Interacting in a wide range. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Okay, I don't think so. But let's see. Can you write in this book? Now, the thing with a writing book is that it is... Obviously, you, you've played this game before. You know how rare the writing book is. Another, that should mean the ghost is basically around here. Where are you? Are you here? Actually, no, that shouldn't mean that the ghost is basically around here. Because if you know, I always talk about ghost events. When the ghost does a ghost event, it teleports the ghost to that location. But that only counts for ghost events where the ghost shows up. When it stands still, when it walks to you, the airball ghost events are different. Uh, they turned off the breaker. The airball actually doesn't teleport the ghost. Now, how do you know? How do we know this? You might think. Uh, well, you could, I guess, test this with salt and stuff, but there used to be a bug a long time ago. I forgot how it happened, but there was a bug where we could glitch the ghost to make it visible during its idle phase. So we could inspect what the ghost does when it's not hunting you. So you could see it walk around. You could see it teleport during ghost events and everything. Uh, it was very interesting. You, you can still find those videos on YouTube somewhere. Um... I posted a, a few videos on it. it was very interesting it was on the old asylum as well <laughs> or with the old asylum uh, can you give us a sign so I could do something crazy and you know me I am going to do exactly that we are going to grab a smudge stick light the summoning circle and figure out if it's a revenant or a yure because it can't be a, a mimic unless it was an obake at the time of the first door touch but it touched it twice so even if it was an obake it would have had it would be extremely rare since it's only a 25 percent chance to hide the fingerprints obviously it's gonna happen now but anyway um i'm just gonna go a little crazy now this is not a good idea because this, there is, like, this summoning circle is out in the open, and you can't really hide very well. I'm gonna take a pill. How much are the pills? Oh, that's a big pill. There's, like, 40 for a pill or 30. Um, because I think there's still something, supposedly, with the summoning circle, that if you light it with too low sanity, it's not gonna work. So that would be a disaster for me here. Alright, I'm gonna be in the dark as well. I think I'm gonna run into the library and just pray, because if this is a, this is a revenant, that's gonna be very bad for me. You know what? I mean, honestly, the safest thing I could do... Yep. All right. Well, that exactly happened. You saw that? That is so fucking dumb, and I cannot... I'm so mad. I'm so mad the devs doubled down on this stupid idea they have. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I had 80% sanity there. I like... This is a perfect showcase of how dumb this change is. If you don't use this... And I don't know why. I need to, like... Maybe they don't realize what they've created here. Like, I, I'm, I genuinely think they, they, they don't know the result of their changes. Because this means that if you have a summoning circle and you do not use it immediately with 100% sanity, 
it is a completely useless item and you're never going to be able to take the ghost photo with it and it's super unsafe to use i had 80 percent sanity 80 percent. that's almost the entire sanity bar i started using the the summoning circle and as you saw i didn't get a ghost event i immediately went to do a hunt because um it because i had too low san too low sanity to use the last candle but that's so stupid because you have to light all the candles you it's not like using the la i don't understand i don't understand what their idea is behind this change i, I don't know if i explained the change properly but if you at the time of lighting the last candle do not have 16 percent sanity or more the ghost will not do a ghost event on the summoning circle but instead immediately do a hunt what this means is that because every single candle on the summoning circle drops your sanity by 16 if you don't have five times 16 80 plus is that even 80 plus i don't know quick maths um if you don't have an insanely high amount of sanity it's a completely useless item because it's uh gonna i guess what you could do is like have one person i i guess so the way you got to use it is in single player sorry you're fucked uh thanks developers in multiplayer you have to have We're some back. someone step away from the summoning circle uh get their distance then uh one because if you're close to the summoning circle and one one person lights the candle everyone will lose sanity so if you're with two people one person goes away from the summoning circle one person lights four of the candles completely tanks their sanity to zero and then the other person that didn't get their sanity drop comes in and lights the the last candle that's like the 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 cheese i don't know if that's a cheese that's the, the thing you have to do to make use of the summoning circle in this new system this was uh it worked pro also my game was frozen for so long there i don't know if you saw it it was working properly for so long then they wanted to make this change i was super like against this change but luckily it didn't work so it was like okay they might might have must have realized that it was a terrible idea but then no randomly in another bug fix they doubled down on this idea to make the summoning circle useless in single player and uh have created this again so i don't know i, I know i sound really agitated it's just because i i don't i feel like they must not realize what they have created that they have made it so that the summoning circle was useless unless you use it immediately which is definitely not what they want they don't want you to use it immediately i'm sure maybe maybe that's the idea or you just got to eat all the pills before using it or use the weird strategy that i talked about where you kind of like split the sanity drain i just don't understand it because there's no like the tarot cards don't do that if you get it's basically like if you if you're using the tarot cards and you draw a devil card if you don't have 100 sanity it just kills you instead like that's so fucking stupid i don't know <laughs> anyway mad mad sim is over now i'm just i just love this game so much that i have a lot of criticism when they do stuff that i think is stupid because i care about this game and and the way it works uh, so many people mistake that uh so many people think that when you criticize things it means you hate it no so most of the time for me if i properly give constructive criticism it means i care enough about something to see it improve and if i don't I mean, you don't see this on YouTube often, but on... Am I, have I immediately found the ghost? Yep. All right, well, that was easy. Um, you see this? This is exactly what I'm talking about, why the paramic is so good. What the fuck? Um, if you watch my stream, uh, when I do indie game streams, you often see me play an indie game. It's so bad that it's like not fun at all and then i'll just stop and move on to the next one now usually I'll, I'll explain what i think they could do to make the indie game more fun for me but so, but uh it's not like i keep playing it regardless like i just sometimes you you gotta realize that a game is not for you and you move on to the next one uh because there's like so many thousands and thousands of indie games that uh not all are maybe all of them are made with care but not all of them are good as a result um oh that looks like another probable emf you gotta you gotta filter through the through the sludge to get to the the hidden gems um all right i'm gonna grab this sure thing i mean we have another summoning circle so we could decide to die again do you agree maybe i've just been reaching up the wrong tree is that even barking up the wrong tree i don't know um uh 
maybe people find this a good idea. I just don't understand the reasoning behind it. Maybe that's why... I think that's what makes me un un irrationally mad sometimes, is when there's no reasoning behind a change. Um, like, it seems like it just they just kind of ruined a many use cases of the summoning circle. It's And for what? Like... As if the, having the ghost event happen, even at zero sanity, is like something weird, or like... Um... I don't know, I just don't understand. Where are you? Are you here? Next to you. Next to you? It's not like it makes the summoning circle's negatives less, like you're still gonna get a hunt. <laughs> you're still gonna get a hunt, you're just not gonna get that insta-hunt. That probably killed so many new players. Because if you don't know the ins and outs of work, it's like if I... Because often I will play a new ghost hunting game and I'll like, um, I'll like learn the game and something feels unfair or weird and I'll like complain about it. If I was playing Phasmo for the first time right now, there would be so many things I would complain about for, complain about for being weird and hard to understand. Because the new player experience is pretty, pretty bad in Phasmo. Like, there's a lot to learn. Which I, I think is also part of its charm. Like, there's a lot of secrets to uncover while playing this game. Um, what are we dealing with here? I guess I'm taking the salt again. Um, there's a lot of secrets to find, which is cool. Um, uh, so that is also a plus in a weird way. But because I know so much about this game, I can just, like, judge... Because I... You can judge the mechanics for how they work behind the scenes, like like how the code actually works, um, and you can kind of I feel like more accurately weigh the co the pros and cons of, of a change. And I think the the change of the summoning circle just has no pros whatsoever. Like I, I want to hear an argument for this change. Like it, what's what's the reasoning behind it? I I think the reasoning is. Every cursed possession, if you use it with no sanity, has a, like, instant hunt downside. Like, if you use the voodoo doll with no sanity, it starts to immediately, uh, hunt. If you use the, um, the board with no sanity, it starts to immediately hunt. If you use the, uh, do I have a writing book in here, by the way? Oh, it got thrown and didn't get written in, written, written in, written in, so no ghost writing. If you use the, oh, well, dots, um, and not the Gorio. Uh, what, what more curse possessions? I'm, I'm, I'm lost in the sauce. There's some curse possession for which it doesn't count. Uh, like the... The mirror, if you use it with no sanity, it instantly breaks. The voodoo doll, if you use it with no sanity, it instantly breaks. Music box, if you use it with no sanity, it instantly breaks. So, I see the, I see the line of argument there. However, the reason I think you shouldn't apply that to the summoning circle is because all these other items only drain a minor amount of sanity. So, if you use them at zero sanity, that is your fault as a player. You made a mistake for using it way too late into the game. However, the difference between all those items that does ha do have an instant hunt and I find it fair compared to the summoning circle is that the summoning circle has drains way too much sanity. It drains like 80 it drain it, it, let me fucking math this out real quick. I uh 16 times 5 it drains it drains exactly 80 sanity. So, if you don't have like, I don't find that a reasonable fault of the player. Like, oh, you used the summoning circle when you had 80% sanity? What were you thinking? Of course you need 81% sanity, you idiot. Like, it's just, it doesn't feel like the player's mistake. Like, in all the other cases, I can totally see why you would get, cause an insta-hunt. Because it's like, oh, you tried to gain something uh, while you were in a vulnerable position. Whereas for the summoning circle, I just don't think that applies. That's my opinion, at least. Anyway, this has turned into a ranting about summoning circle video. <laughs> that's, not, that's the thing. If chat can't stop me, if chat's not here to stop me, I'll go on rambling forever. All right, what are we doing? Um, I don't know if we saw an air ball. I have no one to remind me. Uh, right. I should really grab a smudge because we, we might get hunted here if it's a Raichu or something. So for Wraith, we are... It's probably not freezing, right? Uh, for Wraith, we are looking for Spirit Box, right? When we didn't get Spirit Box, so it might just be a Raichu, which would just be... But that would be Ghost Rips then. Wait a minute, some fishy business is going on here. I got too distracted by the Summoning Circle. 
Yeah, that's. I, I think that's the line of reasoning that they were like, well, everything has a downside if you use it with no sanity, which isn't really true, by the way, because there is many items that don't. The tarot cards don't. Uh, tarot cards don't. Monkey paw doesn't. Um, and I guess those are the only two. Tarot card doesn't. Monkey paw doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. Uh, I just don't see the argument for it. Well, I'm gonna use a pill. We're at 100. percent We could now use the. Uh, summoning circle. Maybe you can use it in it. Like, maybe you can back off far enough away. Like, maybe, let's stir it. And we're gonna do something stupid just to see if you could kind of cheese this. Like, what if I back off as far away from the candle as possible? Like, from how far can you light this? Not very far. Okay, that's actually... Wait, what? Is it not gonna... Oh, it's not gonna... Alright, it doesn't give me a... There. Okay. Did that drain my sanity? Can you, like, cheese it by just standing as far away from it as possible? I'm curious. Probably drain my sanity. Um, I just wanna know. Yeah, okay, so it still did. Look at that. Look at that drain on one single sand candle. It's so dumb. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm going off the rails. Someone stop me. Hold me back. Hold me. We just need to figure out what goes with us. Then we get a big payout. Because I think Phasma is such a good game. It might just be a wraith, honestly, <laughs> again. Wait, that has to be... Did I get spirit box and just completely ignore it? Because I was ranting about the, the fucking thing or what now? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Zots again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you grandma? Oh. Are you kidding me? It's at the back of this room? What the? Okay, well, let that be a lesson to not trust your spirit box ability because you got to check real closely. I checked so much. Another Wraith. Uh, pretty lucky runs <laughs> today. But hey, that's uh, it's got to happen. I think the main thing here is just can you find the ghost room quick? After that, this challenge. Like, I mean, not even quick. It's, it's a pretty easy challenge, if I'm honest. Like, um... I was expecting when I saw Miss Delivery that they were gonna basically make it a starter item challenge. I'm guessing there's gonna be a starter items challenge down the line. Uh, but they, they wanted to make like 20 plus challenges so they had to spice some of them up to make them slightly different. Um, it's it's the one thing that holds me back. I don't re regularly use do these kind of challenges with like minor things because I'm like, oh, I might as well do a starter items challenge. So it's kind of fun for me as well to have an excuse to do these kind of less hard back. challenges uh, <laughs> that I wouldn't regularly do because I'm like, wow, I might as well do a no evidence, no sanity, blah, 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 blah challenge. Uh, right? So it's, it's kind of nice to have that excuse. All right. Well, that was 10 minutes of me ranting about the summoning circle. And we got ourselves... 3,000 bucks. We're getting there. Actually, we're all literally almost there. I need to be careful <laughs> because the 15,000 mega challenge is going to be our very last mega challenge because they're going to reset the level soon, uh, which means we won't be having those ridiculous levels. We might do a prestige challenge every time, but I don't know how fast the prestiging is going to be. We'll see. Anyway, can't wait to do the level 15,000 challenge to really properly send those off. I hope you Enjoyed me rambling about everything <laughs> and me getting the challenge. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams as I am uploading this, uh, we are live over on Twitch, so you can join us over there. Thank you so much. I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>